Hello everyone! There are a few ways to get 3D Google Map models and importing them to a 3D software. One of them is render doc method, but honestly, that method is tricky, slow, and it can give you a real headache. The workflow I'm going to show you is way easier and straight to the point. By doing this, you can pick the exact area you want to download, change the color correction before saving, and set the level of details so your model has evenly distributed high density polygons, something that render doc cannot really do. Let's dive in. First of all, let's download the software. There are two links in the description. One is the main software and the other one is the fixed file. After downloading, you need to simply extract the software's folder and there is also no installation, you can just run it. Before running the program, you need to extract the fixed file and copy it into the same directory as the, as the software. Once you did that, just run the software. You might see a credential error on the map, but you can safely ignore this. There's no search function here, you just need to manually navigate to your desired location. In this example, I'll be extracting a 3D model of the Eiffel Tower. To select an area, you can just simply hold and drag your right click. Before moving on, I need to explain an important factor and that is the level of details. You control this with the bar on the right hand side, which has two sliders. The further you move the bar to the right, the higher the polygon density and the heavier your 3D file will be. You can download a range of LOD files by placing the slider apart like this. To download a specific LOD, position both a slider together at the chosen level. I'm going to download both high poly and low poly versions of the Eiffel Tower. Let's begin with the lighter version. First, I place both a slider on this section of the LOD bar and then select the directory. Now you can just hit download and wait a few seconds. After it says finished, it's time to import it into Blender. You can simply download Blender from their websites, it's a free tool. You won't need any Blender skills, just follow these few steps. First, go to the files, import and select GLTF format. Go to the desired directory, go to the model library folder and select all of the GLTF files, then hit import. Now you need to assign the textures. Go to the files, external data, find missing files and select the texture folder for this tile, which is in the model library folder. You need to just wait a few seconds. If the textures don't appear, you just need to change the viewport mode to the material preview in the top right corner of your viewport. Now you can see the 3D model coming all together. Now I'll show you simply how to export it to 3 Max. For 3 Max, go to Files, Export, and then select FBX files. You don't need to change any settings. You can just select the directory and export it. Then I'm going to 3 Max and simply import my FBX file. Here you can see my FBX file in 3 Max. It also has all of the textures working. You can render it using V-Ray, Corona, or Chaos Vantage. Now let's go for the high LOD option and also exporting it to a SketchUp. This is my approach for the highest quality version of the 3D map. If you want the maximum quality, move both LOD sliders all the way to the right side of the bar. Since this creates large files, I recommend splitting the area into smaller sections. I usually divide it into 9 parts. As you can see, 1 in center and 8 tiles surrounding it. If you are tiling as described, create clearly named folders for each tile to avoid confusion later. I will repeat this process for all of the parts. Importing to the Blender is the same process as we did before, but you just need to do it separately for each time. Depending on file size and your PC, it may take 1 to 10 minutes to load. If it's taking more than 10 minutes for each tile, you might need to just simply make the tiles smaller. Once loaded, you will see the model as multiple files. Select them all and press Ctrl and J to join them into one object. An extra step that you need to do is aligning the tiles. When you import another tile, it won't automatically align. Use the transform controls to move it to the correct position. To align perfectly, match a shade reference. For example, a car, a road edge, or a building corner that appears in both tiles. In this Eiffel Tower example, as you can see, there is no 3D data for one section around the tower, so it remains empty. Now, 
in order to export it to SketchUp, you can just simply go to Files again, select Export, and then select .dae format instead of FX. This format works the best with SketchUp. And now in SketchUp, you can simply select Import and import your DAE file. Be aware that heavy models may take a few minutes to load. Here you can see the 3D model and that's it. Leaving a like and a comment will motivate me to continue. So thank you and have a good time.